Happy spring, everyone. Greetings from the greenhouse. In honor of the equinox, I thought I would do a quick little update. However, I think I'm aggravating the dogs next door, but that's okay. I'm not going to let them bother me. I just wanted to show you what I have growing because I'm so excited and I just love being in my greenhouse. It's about 41 degrees outside, but in the greenhouse, it's 59 and sunny. And it looks like every plant that I have here is in the sunshine. Look at that. So most of these are plants that reseed themselves or that I can take cuttings from, like yarrow. I can cut that. Oh, you can see my shadow there. I don't like that. I can um, take cuttings from where that's growing and it'll root itself very easily in soil. Same thing with oregano and thyme right there. They are very easy to take cuttings from. And right there is larkspur that um, I think it's related to delphinium. It looks a lot like delphinium, but this is the annual version that reseeds itself. Um, delphinium must be a root that stays in the ground. And if, if it doesn't get killed off, it'll come back. This is columbine. This is a root that stays in the ground and it comes back year after year, but it also reseeds itself. So I find this all over and I, I put it in a, in a pot and it grows very well. So if you want to expand your garden for very little bit of money, there are certain flowers that will prolifically reseed themselves or very easily you can separate them by cuttings. And then you can expand the color in your garden, like with the evening primrose right there. That makes a beautiful, tall, uh, yellow, spiky plant, but it's also medicinal. A lot of these are medicinal, like right there, the valerian. Uh, very medicinal helps with insomnia pain and uh, muscle aches and the yarrow also medicinal uh, what else do I have these are some flowers that might be uh, coreopsis and then I've got some lettuces that I started in these that I make green a greenhouse out of and the lids are under here so at night I put the lid on to keep it warm because um at night this did get to be 29 degrees last night and a few days ago it was also 29 degrees and then in between there um at night going up to like 32 so it's been pretty cold at night but all these plants are just fine this is garlic here and this is getting ready to go out probably tomorrow um, I'm anticipating warmer temperatures after tomorrow, so I'll be able to get a lot of these things out. But for now, they're protected in here and growing nicely. This is broccoli that I started in this container, in this milk jug. So I did milk jug gardening, and there was a video that I saw online that did this. And this is very successful. I started the peas this way, and these are going to go out same time as the garlic. And I got 20 peas there that I'm going to put out. We've got chamomile that once you plant chamomile once, it will reseed itself and you'll have it forever. And that is also a very, very wonderful medicine. It makes a very flavorful tea. Tastes a lot like apples and also smells like apples. Uh, I think it's in the daisy family and they look like little small daisies and the tea it has a very calming effect it helps with anxiety and depression and also has some pain relieving qualities and then over here is foxglove and we love foxglove and we are so happy that that also recedes itself so we've got some baby ones here and then this one is a little more mature and they're usually biennial perennials in the first year they start out with this rosette shape and um and then in the second year they they bloom so i hope that because this one started last year i hope it's going to bloom this year and then this one is mullen also medicinal and it reseeds itself um these leaves have um really good qualities for the lungs 
these help to heal the lungs when you have like asthma or bronchitis helps with colds and coughs and flu and all that and back there we also have some more garlic i have garlic everywhere i love garlic i just love it so you can see everything is thriving in here like this greenhouse let me show you the greenhouse from the outside oh it's so warm in there okay so this greenhouse couldn't be any more perfect it's about five and a half by five and a half a wonderful gift from my mom and it has had some damage you can see there i've had to repair it and the zipper doesn't work anymore i macgyver it closed with a with a binder clip um but it doesn't matter because everything in there is doing great i love it it's doing even better in this new spot and i have another one that frank and dominic are building over here and i'm really going to be able to go to town with plants i've got a lot of plants started in the house that are going to fill that and i'll have to show you what i got going on in there in the next video because i have i have stuff growing everywhere so let me just take you over here and show you this new area that i'm i keep i keep improving it it's fun so i put some paver well not pavers what are these just big big stone things that i found in the yard and i found this one and it just looked like it wanted to be a seat and i thought it would be perfect for this spot so i kind of built this around it and over here i'm gonna have some vining flowers that are gonna come up and around and some on this side i'm gonna plant come up and around and make me a nice little wall and this is just like a a sit and a take a break kind of thing when i'm planting because this is where all the garlic and the peas are gonna go and the kale and everything on the other side so I could sit, take a break, and enjoy watching my garden grow and all this hard work and effort come to fruition. And then, let me take you around the other side because I've rescued, oh, I have to save this. This is parsley that uh, some animals, I guess it's a bunny, I don't know what it is, but they love eating all my parsley. So I covered them with, uh-oh, this one doesn't have its cover on it but it seems to be okay. They love eating my parsley. Where's the cover? I don't know, I gotta go find it. But anyway, this is the other side of the sitting area and then I have another sitting area that I can sit and take a break. And then these are my trees. Some of them, I got trees everywhere. So these are trees that I saved that were growing in my garden that I picked out and I put in a pot and I just gave them a lots of love and nutrients and put them in bigger and bigger pots. And um, that's the same thing. These are my original trees over here that I started as soon as we moved here, um, I guess six years ago. Maybe the first year I started gardening, they were, that were, those were the first trees I rescued. And then these were the second trees that I rescued. So now they have a permanent home here in my garden. I don't know if you can see them. It's so bright out here, I can't even see my camera. All right, well, I don't wanna make this video too long. I'll just show you over here how much fun it is to have one of these things that Frank built me, I love this, because I was able to grow all of these greens all winter and have something fresh to eat whenever I wanted. And this is a mixture of kale, mustard, collard, um, that's mizuna, red mizuna mustard. Now they did take a little bit of a beating last night and there's also some lettuce there. Um, because it was very, very cold last night, but they will all recover and be fine. Um, our outside pipe froze and they look like they need water, but I can't water them until that pipe over there falls out. And this is all full of ice. I didn't realize that I was supposed to empty out all the water if it was going to freeze. Of course, it makes sense now. Of course. So... When I know it's going to be very cold at night, I'm supposed to empty all the water out of the hose. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. So now I know. But anyway, that's it for now. I will show you what I got going on inside growing in the next video. Happy gardening.